And I would not be the woman I am if I did not go home to that man. Solange going after Jay-Z. It is not clear what provoked the assault. Beyonce didn't get involved. A bodyguard pulled Solange away. Shut down emotionally, so you can't connect. And then now all things happen things from me. Happen, happen. Today, we're going to dive into the cheating rumors surrounding Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship. But before we get into that, we need to establish the exact time of their first encounter. In a 2007 interview with Charlie Rose, Jay-Z claimed to have met Beyonce 10 years ago, which would mean their initial meeting happened around 1997. However, in a 2008 interview with Seventeen, Beyonce revealed that she was just 18 when she met Jay-Z. Z, which would put their first meeting around 1999 or 2000. The release of their 2002 hit track, Bonnie and Clyde, marked the public beginning of their romantic journey that eventually led to marriage, three adorable children, and a billionaire status. Despite their picture-perfect facade, rumors of infidelity have been circulating throughout their relationship, which we're going to explore in detail today. So grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get started. Charlie Baltimore, who is known for being romantically involved with Notorious B.I.G., was one of Jay-Z's early protégés in the music industry. She first gained popularity in the late 1990s as one of the few female artists on the Murder, Inc. record label. In the early 2000s, Jay-Z was involved in a violent altercation with Lance Un Rivera over an alleged song leak. Rapper Cameron recently revealed that the altercation was actually over Baltimore. It, was, it wasn't over no money. It wasn't over being righteous. What was it over? A chick? What we don't do mm. is we don't fuck with our homies, ex bitches. Mm. Bow. You feel me? You yeah. know who that is now, right? He said bow. Charlie Baltimore. Charlie there you Baltimore. go. <laughs> Fans have been left wondering whether Jay Z and Baltimore continued their romantic relationship after he got together with Beyonce. It is uncertain whether Aaliyah and Jay-Z were romantically involved, but there are photos from July 2000 that show Jay-Z being all over Aaliyah around the same time he began dating Beyonce. In 2009, Dash, co-founder of Rockefeller, revealed in an interview with Page Six that everybody was trying to get to Aaliyah. However, he said he never pursued her as hard as Jay-Z Z did. Dash was unaware that Jay-Z was also interested in Aaliyah, but eventually, they both tried to win her over. Sadly, in 2001, Aaliyah passed away in a helicopter crash at the young age of 22. She had just finished shooting a music video for her next single and was on the flight with Virgin Records employees. The helicopter was overloaded, resulting in the deaths of Aaliyah and eight other individuals. However, Many people believe that the plane crash was planned. In an interview weeks before her death, Aaliyah spoke about a recurring dream she had. It is dark in my favorite dream. Someone is after me. I don't know why. I feel fear. Then, suddenly, I lift off. I fly away. Far away. How do I feel now? It is like swimming in the air, free and without any weight. No one can reach me. No one can touch me. It is a wonderful feeling. Honestly, there are so many shady things surrounding her death that it could be worth exploring in another video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to explore this topic further. Emile Whitehead was the first female rapper signed to the Rockefeller label and joined the 1999 Hard Knock Life tour. In an August 2011 interview, she expressed her desire for closure, saying that talking to Jay-Z would bring her peace of mind. Emile revealed, I really wish I could talk to him because that would just bring closure to me. But he knows I love him. People think there was bad blood between us, 
but there never was any bad blood. Things happened, and it was really overwhelming. It's unknown whether Jay-Z and Emile had a romantic relationship, and the exact timeline of their potential relationship remains unclear. But there was definitely a close bond between the two. Back in 2005, Rihanna was a rising star in the music industry at 17 years old, just having been signed to Jay-Z's record label. I ran into you somewhere, and Rihanna had him she had really never even been heard of at this point. And you walked up to me and said, that's my artist. And I was struck by that. I never forget those words. That's my artist. 17 years old at that she point? 16. 16. And she has the confidence of, yeah. she's like an old soul in a yeah, sense, right? Absolutely. Rumors started circulating that there was more than just a professional relationship between Rihanna and Jay-Z. The following year, Beyonce released the song, Ring the Alarm which includes the lyrics, Ring the alarm, I've been through this too long, but I'll be damn if I see another chick on your arm, suggesting that she may have also been aware of the rumors and was feeling protective of her relationship with Jay-Z. Jonathan Hay, Rihanna's former publicist, has expressed remorse for spreading a false rumor that the young singer was having an affair with Jay-Z. In 2005, Hay claimed that Jay-Z was cheating on Beyonce with Rihanna in an attempt to generate buzz for the singer's debut single, Honda Replay. However, the statement is a little suspicious given the fact that Rihanna was only 17 at the time, and this would have likely ruined her career rather than boosting it. During the Super Bowl, Rihanna made a hand gesture in the shape of a triangle right before the camera cut out. Some people have speculated that this symbol, known as the triangle hand symbol, has connections to various conspiracy theories. Regardless of the meaning behind the gesture, it has sparked a lot of discussion and attention online. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. The story of Jay-Z's alleged mistress, Kathy Coriana White, takes a dark turn when she was found dead in 2011. There were rumors going around that White and Jay-Z were involved in a relationship after she was seen with him and Puffy at a Las Vegas nightclub. A tabloid even tried to reach out to her to confirm the rumors. But she passed away just 24 hours later. The timing of her death, which was around the same time Beyonce announced her pregnancy, sparked conspiracy theories that Jay-Z had something to do with it. Speculation about the cause of her death continues to circulate, but there is no clear information on what happened to her. The NYPD officer in charge of the investigation has not released any official statements about the autopsy or toxicology reports. The circumstances surrounding White's death remain mysterious, leaving many to wonder what really happened. It's a tragic story that's shrouded in uncertainty and speculation. In 2010, adult actress Jasmine Kashmir, who has appeared in over 80 adult movies, shared pictures on social media showing her six-month pregnancy. Speculation arose about who the father of the child might be, with rumors suggesting it was Jay-Z. Kashmir had previously claimed that she was offered $10,000 by an anonymous Clippers star to spend the night with him. In 2011, rumors spread that Jay-Z had a love child with model Chanel Scott, who was rumored to be his mistress. According to Malik Syed, the father of Scott's former partner, a DNA test proved that Jay-Z was the biological father of the child and not his son. Saeed alleged that Scott had been sleeping around and confirmed that Jay-Z had given her $1 million to keep quiet. The Carters have not commented on these claims. Claudia Sheelan, the former Miss International Belgium of 2010, made headlines in 2013 when rumors began to circulate that she had an affair with Jay-Z. According to reports, Jay-Z first noticed the blonde beauty at a nightclub in Antwerp, where he sent over a massive bottle of Ace of Spades champagne to her and her friends. Claudia revealed in an interview with The Mirror that he complimented her and her friends, saying, I've been all over the entire world, but the girls in Antwerp are the prettiest girls. She claimed that he didn't mention his wife, Beyonce, or Daughter Blue once during their encounter. Back in 2014, rapper Liv released a track called Sorry Mrs. Carter. In the song, Liv alleged that she had an affair with Jay-Z, 
saying he likes flawless model chicks like herself. Although faced with a potential lawsuit, Liv later backtracked on her lyrics, denying any involvement with Jay-Z, saying she was misinterpreted. Liv's accusations only added to the existing rumors surrounding Jay-Z's alleged unfaithfulness. Casey Cohen, a reality TV personality from the Bravo series Princesses Long Island, has faced repeated accusations of having an affair with Jay-Z. Reports first surfaced in 2014, naming her as one of the women who had grown close to the hip-hop icon, with rumors circulating that they were hooking up regularly. Despite Cohen's denials, the rumors persisted, prompting her to take legal action against the publications spreading them. TMZ reported that Cohen sent cease and desist letters to several magazines insisting that the affair allegations were baseless and demanding that they be retracted. Now let's talk about the elevator fight. On May 5th, 2014, Solange, Beyonce's protective sister, physically attacked Jay-Z in an elevator while Beyonce watched silently. Reports later revealed that Solange's outburst may have been triggered by Jay-Z's relationship with designer Rachel Roy, the ex-wife of his former friend Damon Dash. Solange was seen confronting Roy at the same after party where the elevator incident occurred. Beyonce's album Lemonade contains many references to her marriage with Jay-Z and infidelity. In Sorry, Beyonce mentions Becky with the good hair, which led to rumors that Rita Ora was the woman referenced. She signed to Jay-Z's Rock Nation label when she was just 18 years old. Rita Ora has been seen wearing jewelry that some believe references him. She shared a selfie wearing a lemon-shaped bra and a necklace with the letter J. This sparked a frenzy among Beyonce's fans. After Beyonce's album Lemonade was released, Rachel Roy, a friend of Kim Kardashian and the ex-wife of Damon Dash, yes, the same guy who dated Aaliyah, shared a photo on Instagram with the caption, good hair, don't care, but we will take good lighting for selfies or self-truths. Always. Live in the light. Hashtag no drama queens. This led fans to speculate that Roy was the Becky with the good hair referenced in the album. Roy had previously worked as an intern at Rockefeller and eventually became the creative director. She was also married to Damon Dash for four years. Rumors of an affair between Jay-Z and Roy circulated after tensions arose between Jay-Z and Dash. The Carter's absence from Kim and Kanye's wedding fueled speculation that Beyonce did not want her husband around his alleged mistress. All of these factors contributed to doubts about the state of Jay-Z and Beyonce's marriage. Jay-Z's 2017 album, 444, is widely regarded as a response to Beyonce's album, Lemonade, which featured lyrics about infidelity and betrayal. In fact, in an interview with the New York Times, Jay-Z admitted to cheating on Beyonce and said that the album was his way of acknowledging his mistakes and trying to make amends. He said, we were using our art almost like a therapy session and we started making music together. Despite the appearance of a stable relationship between the couple since 2017, I can't shake off the feeling that there might be more going on behind the scenes. If this video resonates with you and there's enough interest, I'm willing to create a part two and explore this topic further. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Bye guys.